everyone welcome back today we are going to discuss i'm going to show you a few uh, journals which are multidisciplinary english literature and management so we'll be discussing on all these aspects like um, how to select a perfect journal for your article okay these are all the aspects and before we proceed please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet and um, you can find a lot of useful playlist for you here okay so skill up uh this is the one skill up all about research okay and if you just scroll up you can see lot of uh, uh, playlists like uh, sei and scopus index journals everything here okay so first one is like what are the uh, scopus uh, scopus index journals i'm going to show you today today this month is what me if you are watching this video probably after 3 months or 2 months please go and cross check that this is the very first thing which i would like to tell everyone who is seeing this because you know what everyone will be telling after they'll be seeing this video after a year and they will tell gomati this is not listed in scopus okay yes of course scopus will be updating their database at least 3 months to 6 months every 6 months or 3 months so please go and check that first okay this is the very first thing so whenever i am showing you any journal you have to first go and check that okay let us see the first journal here so journal of advanced research in applied sciences and engineering technology the major thing which you should see here is what you should check um, whether it is showing like present okay this is very very important it should show present then only you should proceed with that okay and you should see this publisher and what is the subject area it shows multidisciplinary now let us go back uh, to the uh, thing okay like this is what the journal so here in a journal you have to check like what are the uh, major Uh, major topics they cover like major domain subjects they cover okay like applied sciences engineering and technology uh, field of applied research chemistry physics environmental health mathematics statistics geology engineering computer science natural uh, and technological so there are a lot of things which are coming up right so many it's a multidisciplinary of course so it is cited it is in the scopus index database so just scroll down to see what is the um, uh, like it is a q2 okay so it is a q2 indexed journal and uh, down you can just go down and see like more recent publication i hope this is a open access this is completely open access journal so you can download the pdf and see how the uh, paper formats are okay like how they have uh, what basis they have accepted the paper and here you have article processing charges okay because all the articles are freely available so everyone should pay the article processing charges for accepted article like either you should pay usd to 500 which means i think it comes around 41000 something okay 500 uh, uh, dollar so this is what uh, if you have a corresponding author then you have to pay i think international corresponding author okay so this is about um and this is about what uh, this is the apc charges they had they are asking for and if you just what are the next thing you have to check is what check the scope of the article so i think it's almost covers all the subjects so you can go ahead with that uh, issues how many issues per year they are just focusing on this is an another important aspect which you should see because if they are publishing only two issues per year then your response time will be a little delayed okay so you should check this how to see sometimes they will be mentioning it in the home page itself or else you have to go to the archives okay go to the view articles go to archives where you can see like how many issues they have published so in march 25 uh, itself okay this is volume 41 okay february january i think every week every year sorry every month they are publishing okay so they are publishing every month so this is the one next one is you have to cross check the essn or issn what do you mean by this cross checking see go to the home page okay because there are a lot of clone journal which are there uh, and sometimes you know few journal which are a local journal they will be having the same name as the scopus journals so we should not uh, confuse that and we should not submit it to the local journal which is not a scopus index journal so you have to cross check the essn and issn number just go and check for 
the number okay um, so it should be here on the home page so where to find that yes i think it's here um, yes this is issn 2462 okay so you have to cross check 2462 so you have to cross check these two okay and fee yes we have discussed about the fee it's a 500 usd whether this particular journal has any special issue which they may make it fast for the publication so there is no special issue for this journal okay and then um you should also check for um the author guidelines what are the guidelines faqs any additional charges plagiarism policy okay so if you just go to this information for authors you can find more information here like what is the pl um, plagiarism policy how you have to write the article everything will be detailed it uh, will be in detail here so you can cross checks here okay so if you need any personal guidance on your certification your research um, uh, if you have any queries related to your um, career guidance or something you can schedule a call with me the link is in the description let us go to the next thing called international journal of english language and literature studies so don't forget to check all these things okay I showed you like how to check all these things for one journal. You have to cross check for this. You have to cross check the Scopus database, plagiarism policy, scope of the journal, issue, everything. So I'm just going directly. I want to just show you the article. What is the article processing charges and everything? Okay, so these are all the thing. Upon article acceptance, you have to pay the article processing charges, and these are all the charges for International Journal of English Language, thousand five hundred dollars. so thousand five hundred dollars <laughs> i think it will go beyond a lakhs but if you have uh, any um, like if you have uh, any fund from any other university or probably from the government so you can directly publish you can try publishing here okay so this is also a scopus index journal he, you can find it here asian economic and uh, social society this is what aes is okay and uh, this is still indexed in scopus and they cover art and humanities language and linguistic social science so english literature and this is my ebook store if you so probably i think this will be helpful for you tableau if you you or your students are preparing for the tableau interview or if you need a tableau manual lab manual you can check it out here and this is a power bi interview questions if you want to learn power bi if you are planning if you or your students are planning for power bi interview like interview they can learn from here and the last journal which we are going to discuss is what international journal of management and sustainability so this is still indexed in scopus okay so you can find it here it's there in scopus and the important thing which you have to look here is what um uh, so this this is the thing uh so what are the subject areas okay so you have to check for the subject area what are the areas they cover and this is all about uh, the uh, article processing charges and publication charges i think here they does not um, uh, so they don't have a submission fee but they have article processing charges which is 1200 usd okay so you have to find the other details like um the other details like what uh like what is the frequency of the publication and everything i have showed you like how to check that you can check that here okay so if you have any queries please leave your comments i'll be there to help you out thank you take care and bye bye i'll meet you soon with the next exciting video